Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, I'm going to talk about AL coding guidelines. Microsoft has some certain criteria in order to code AL programming. So what is this? What are these criteria and whether these are all mandatory? No, these are all not mandatory to follow. This will if even if you didn't follow, it will not throw you an error. Okay, but this is good. It, it will be great if you follow these guidelines because, you know, you, you can easily identify all these uh, things. Uh, that is whatever you are writing in the category, you can easily identify. That is what the main, uh, main aim of designing this AL coding guidelines. So you can find this AL coding guidelines completely in Microsoft page itself. I have abstracted important thing which have to be discussed for AL coding guidelines from that particular Microsoft page. So I will be discussing about these page, uh, these categories, okay, naming convention, indentation and white spaces, modularity, testing, error handling, performance, compatibility and compliance. I will be talking about few category today and in the next video I will be talking about the rest of the category. If you want me to uh, tell you with a simple coding example I can also show you in the next video. So let us directly go into the thing like AL coding guidelines. So what is AL coding guidelines? This is a, these are all the general best practices for writing AL code for Dynamics 365 Business Central. These are something that you have to keep in mind. Okay, so the first one is what the naming convention. So you should make sure to use proper naming conventions for variables, functions and other elements of your code to make it easy to understand. Okay, so how you can differentiate all these things? Because we have variables, okay, we have um, uh, we have methods. We have uh, uh, you have to uh, you have to name your objects objects like your uh, um, table page and everything which is available in the left side. Okay, these are all the objects. So how you have to follow all these things? So let us understand the naming conventions very clearly. That is the first criteria. Criteria. Okay, the first criteria tells you that you have to use the camel case for variable and function. Okay, so you can see here camel case so camel case for what variable variables and functions okay so what is it camel case camel case means see you have a, a meaningful two words for example i want to tell about customer details okay so customer is a meaningful word details are also a meaningful word but we know that we cannot give space for functions and also for the variables functions or methods or procedures whatever you can think about so what you have to how you have to write the meaningful two words the first word should start with the small letter and the next meaningful word should start with a capital letter so this is what the camel case means okay so customer details uh, and if you wanted to write customer um, customer invoice data so cust invoice data so you can see that the first meaningful word should start with the small letter and the other preceding meaningful word should starts with the capital letter this is what the camel case we call it as okay so your variables and functions should start should starts with the camel case then what about the enum and record variables so this variable record variables see there are uh, uh, there will be two types of variables where one variable you will be use uh, you will be using for that uh, temporary purpose which is global variable right global variable or even only for the trigger local variable sometimes you will be using creating the variable that is the field for table okay that is what we call it as a record variable so how you can define an enum and the record variable okay enum and record variables should be in the pascal case okay so pascal case in the sense even i am uh, showing you here every meaningful word should start with a capital letter okay this is this you have to think about enum and a record variable okay so how it should be how, what is your pascal case every meaningful like we I, I will be using the same example okay customer details okay so customer is a meaningful word where it starts with capital letter and details are, is also a meaningful word it starts with the capital letter so camel case means it should start with a small letter 
Pascal case means every meaningful word should start with a capital letter. Okay, and you have to use the prefix to indicate the type of variable or a function, such as okay. So you can tell like cur for currency or f n c for function. Okay, so for example, you can tell uh, you can simply type like okay, so c o r, which means this is a this is a variable. This is only a variable. And if you wanted to tell that this is uh, a function, then you can write like cur function. Okay, f u n c, f n c. Okay, and uh, sorry, this this is like you you can simply use the prefix. Okay, instead of writing completely customer. Okay, instead you can write here C S T for customer or C U S T customer. Okay, so this is what the third one. This is you can use a prefix for variables and functions. Okay, so this is what about naming convention. So you should be very clear while writing the name. So for example, I'm also giving you for uh, example you can. Uh, this is for a uh, naming convention okay you can uh, write like uh, for example var okay var my variable got it so my variable you can tell like var my variable and if you wanted to you go with uh, um anything like because since i'm writing it out of uh, object so it is not showing up so you can write it like this var so this is what this is what the camel case okay and then if you want to write the procedure then you can start with um, procedure my procedure so this is also a camel case okay so definitely you have to uh, begin you have to begin and end so you have to use begin and end here so even this is writing uh, we i am just writing it in not inside the object so it is showing the um nothing okay and enum in the sense you can use like um my enum so enum okay so even you can just go ahead with the pascal case or, or the camel case so if you are defining any variable inside the enum so you can just follow that okay enum you can do it and record if you are creating a record record and you have to use what pascal case my record okay you can use the field number an integer or whatever it may be and function as usual so this is how you have to write you have to use the um this is the naming convention for what this is the naming convention for the uh, variables functions and everything now you may have a doubt like what type of naming convention you have to follow for um, the other thing like um, objects table extension page extension code unit for everything so if it is a table extension for any objects okay what is the naming convention for the objects objects like table extension it is uh, let us understand table extension here okay so table extension the naming convention for the table extension you have to follow with ext for example if you have a customer table that is you are extending the customer tables then you can use customer ext dot al this will be easy for you to understand that you are extending the customer table okay so sometimes you know uh, it will show you like after that you have if it is a extension because recently uh, you will be getting a warning that if if it is an extension if it is a page you have to tell page dot al okay if it is a table you have to tell dot table dot al if you are extending the customer page then you have to use page dot al if you are extending the table then you have to use table dot al if you are use, extending the report then you have to use report dot al so this is other than that uh, but you can use the table extension like this likewise for uh, the page extension you can use ext dot page dot al okay ext which means that you are trying to um, extend it okay uh, so this is for uh, um, what this is for table and page extension so anyhow here you have to use the pascal case okay pascal case in the sense every meaningful word should starts with a capital letter so that you can keep it in mind that is for every objects if you are naming any objects so then you have to go with it okay and if you are writing any code unit 
okay for example this is for table and this is same for page as well okay even this is for page you can use uh, uh, um, cust x ext uh, you can write like uh, even if it is if you are using a uh, sales uh, that is if, if you are using a page extension okay then uh, you can use the page name as well okay the complete page name okay if you are using a page extension if you are trying to extend the um, sales invoice okay so sales invoice ext.al okay that will be great if you are using a page extension if you are using the code unit okay if you are uh, if you are trying to use if you are giving a file name that is if you are using the uh, giving the name for the code unit okay imagine that you are not extending anything you are giving a, then it will be a complete name for example customer management sales invoice.al which if you are giving something no uh, completely then this means that you are using the code unit okay so likewise so and also every uh, every um, an object should have the meaningful name it should be a pascal case okay and if you are uh, naming a report then you can write like sales report dot report dot al so this will be very clear or else sales uh, because sometimes you know uh, the uh, uh, that is if uh, ev every weekly twice our B bc will be a updated okay upgraded so there might be some changes but of course this camel case and pascal case will be common for almost every language okay you can just keep this so it's important to keep file name consistent across the application uh, you have to use the appropriate prefix and be descriptive which makes you easier for other developers to understand the purpose of the file and navigate through the code base okay this is what the important one it is also worth noting that there is no official naming notation for Dynamics 365 Central. These are commonly used convention, but um, this, you know, like uh, this, you can easily understand like what you are trying to write it. Okay, that is what the important thing in the naming conventions. Okay, so this is how it exactly goes. So our name, that is the first one. Uh, is completed this is the naming convention so i am creating a complete documentation for this okay so once it is done i'll be posting it in the my blog i'll be posting it in my blog before that i just wanted to tell you so that like what are these con uh, these things okay next one is the indentation and white spaces so what are these indentation and white spaces so uh, indentation uh, we have to use the proper indentation and white spaces because this is easy to code and read your code easy okay to structure your code and read it easily for example you can see here so uh, you can see that here this is the this is what indentation okay so i have kept nearly three four spaces after the block has started and again i think eight spaces okay that is this is to mention that this is a field why this is important because i can easily see that this is where my field block starts and this is where my field block ends okay this is very clear for me to understand so that is why i have to use what proper indentation so even uh, while writing if you are trying to assign any data assign any value to that for example a colon equal to 50 okay you are assigning 50 to a so it should have a proper indentation or else it will throw you an error okay for example i'm just um, typing the page okay so here i'm just declaring a variable okay um if i'm declaring a variable and i'm trying to assign it a colon integer and i'm just trying a colon uh, equal to 10 okay um so what happens is see it will show you an error that uh, here i ha i have given an improper spaces okay this colon and equal to should be uh, together it should not uh, it should not go it should ha not have any spaces or it should be clearly defined okay this is what uh, they are trying to tell you that uh, you have to give the spaces properly you have to assign the value properly you have to give the proper um, uh, spaces and indentation for whatever we are using okay this is about indentation how it, your indentation should work and how you have to give this indentation 
okay anyhow uh, if it is a proper one it will uh, automatically al will I, i understand that it will automatically do it sometimes we have to try that okay and another one to talk about is what are comments okay so we have to write the comments to explain the code and we have to use the clear and concise language in our comment and uh, we should not uh, give the comments outside the code for example if you take this uh, code okay so here i have to write a comment like i can give some comments like who is the author okay uh, i can give a comment like right when i have created because in order to maintain the version this is the first version and when it is created okay why i have to write this because you know every time pc will be updated upgraded so when uh, sometimes few methods might be deprecated or few uh, methods we have to use it so if i clearly mention what is the uh, what is the version which i am using what is the wave version which i am using it here it will be easy for someone who is trying to change this code okay and then i can write what is the purpose of this table table usage okay and anything else like if you wanted to try, write what is the field if you wanted to write the uh, uh, any any comment over here you can write it and whenever wherever you have any logic you have applied any logic you can write the comment in that particular logic so that others who is trying to see that you know you they can easily understand okay this is what the uh, this is what the basic guidelines we have so i have discussed about uh, three important three important guidelines one is naming convention and second one is what indentation and white spaces third one is the comment so in the next video i'll be discussing about the rest uh, rest of the uh, uh, categories like uh, modularity testing error handling performance cap compatibility and compliance with the simple example thank you take care bye bye